Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on uh, 3D trigonometry. Uh, we should be looking at uh, Pythagoras, uh, area of a triangle, the sine and cosine rules. And I think this is within the reach of anybody doing the, the IGCSE higher tier and also for anybody doing the GCSE higher tier. And for our friends in, in the USA, it should be with, within the reach of anybody doing grade 10 trigonometry. Right, now for the first section, we're looking at mainly the properties of um, triangle X, A, Y. Firstly, we're supposed to find the length of uh, the triangle X, A, Y. That means the length, the, we'll find A, X, uh, A, Y, and X, Y. Okay, so you need to find all these. Now, this one first, because it's the easiest of the three. This one first, for triangle EXA, which is a right angle triangle, uh, EX is 3 and EA is 4. So AX is going to be the square root of EX squared plus uh, AE squared. And that will be 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is root 25. And the square root of 25 is 5 centimeters so ax is five centimeters moving on we now have to find ay now to find ay we need to look at this little strip here or the triangle strip there now ad is six and dy is two because y is the midpoint of dc and dc is four which makes which makes dy two so to find AY, which is a hypotenuse of that of the right angle triangle, we do six squared plus two squared. And that will give us looking for the square root of 40, or if you like, two root 10. Both are correct, I mean, both are accurate. Uh, 6.32 is an approximation. Okay, right, next we need to find uh, XY. Now to find x, y, we need to do some construction here. We need to create, a, draw a line from x to p and from p to y. Because we need to find the length of x, p before we can find x, y. So um, that's what we got there and there. But to find x, p, we need to use uh, Pythagoras again, not to be x, h squared, plus xp squared and find the square root. So what we've now got is that xp is equal to three squared plus two squared, and that will give us uh, the square root of 13. Now I'm going to leave that as square root of 13 without um, working it out, uh, use that calculator, leave it as that. So now for xy, now xy is now the hypotenuse of the triangle X, P, Y. Yeah, that triangle there. We know X, P. We know P, Y. So X, Y will be 4 squared, which is this one here, plus root 13 squared. And when you square, when you square the square root, you get a number by itself. So we end up with 16 plus 13, the square root of 16 plus 13. And that's root 29. So I'm going to leave it at that. But if you wish, you can write it at 5.39 centimeters. Right, we don't, we've, we've now got all three sides. Now for the third section, sorry, sorry for, the, sorry for the second section, uh, we're supposed to find um, angle XAY, which is this, this angle here. Okay? We know all three sides. We don't know any angle at all, so this calls for cosine rule. And the cosine rule says we double the product of AX and AY, which uh, include the which enclose the angle XAY, and then multiply by the cosine of the angle XAY, and that should be equal to AX squared plus AY squared minus y x y squared uh, x y squared is x y is the line 
opposite the angle we're looking for. Now, to put some numbers into the uh, expression, we got that 2, which is there, times 5, because AX is 5, and AY is 2 root 10, which is there, times the cosine of the angle XAY. And when we cross multiply, we have something like uh, the cos cosine of angle XAY is uh, 0 0.56920. Now, if you press your shift button and then your cosine button, we end up with angle XAY as 55.3 degrees. Now, for the third section, we are supposed to find the area of the red triangle. Now, we know this angle here, x, a, y, and that's 55.3 degrees. We know the, the lines that, um, that, that enclose the angle. So, if you use this formula, half b, c, sine a, so we end up with a half of ax times ay uh, and then times this the sine of angle x ay so we then have uh, a half times 5 times 2 to the 10 sine 55.3 degrees and if you get 12.9992 now you can write your answer as 13 that's fine so far but your final answer must be 13.0 centimeters squared because we require the answer to 3SF if you just write down 13 that is not correct because that's 2SF not 3 13.0 centimeters squared is 3SF Thank you for watching and please, please subscribe and hopefully see you again sometime. Bye-bye.